What's up guys, Off The Line Motorsports here with my intake manifold, well, soon to be an intake manifold. Um, I d can't recall if I showed you this guy in a previous post or not. Um, this is a Nubworks 12 valve uh, billet plenum plate, um, beautifully machined. Velocity stacks in there. I mean, it's a really nice piece. I got this from a guy um, That I traded some 3d printed parts for the extrusion that I am using it is a 5 inch D extrusion um, It had the plate all the way down here basically flat flush like that um, Probably could do a uh, You know like a full circle piece, but Kind of hard cutting out so um, and then I got this so I got this on eBay um, from Ross machine racing uh, they do quite a bit of uh, intake manifold parts and stuff they make throttle bodies and stuff as well um, I got this throttle body plate from the same guys um, at Ross machine racing I actually bought it through the guys that SB parts direct um, and basically you know you see a real nice filleted edge around here um, and then this little slot cut out for the um, idle control valve so this is like an LS1 style throttle body that's gonna go on here um, which I already got but anyways um, yeah that's what it's gonna go so this is gonna get welded on like so I can get you a little better, little better image of that, like so. And then, obviously, this guy's gonna get welded here. It doesn't quite fit. Need to do a little bit of massaging here. Um, and then I will get to welding it together. So that's about it. I already tested fitment on the car. I've got like that much clearance to my hood, which is awesome. I haven't put the throttle body on to see if the um, throttle cable is going to hit or the cam, you know, that the throttle cable, cable runs on is going to hit, but it'll be close. Yeah, so I'm going to work on that and uh, get it fitted up. this to fit a bit better uh, it's still gonna be kind of a tight fit on here but I don't want it to fall off when I'm welding anyways um, cut out the end cap for the other side the back side um, so yeah basically boom and boom like I said it's still a little tight but basically it I mean this is what it's gonna look like so I'm gonna clean off my welding bench and clean this up a bit and hopefully start uh, welding it up what's up Ooh. getting ready to weld this got to clean it off throw a little preheat in a couple parts um, actually probably quite a bit of preheat in a lot of it um, pretty thick material to be running on this welder. It's only a 200 amp welder and trying to do it in single pass is Difficult I think I'll be able to get it done, but it might take two passes. We'll see anyways. Yeah, I will uh, get to cleaning it up Wiping it down with acetone while you're brushing it. I've been having a few issues with the welder on AC So welding aluminum. I hopefully got it figured out. I'll have to do a little bit of dialing in yet, but um, should be able to get it going. So let's do it.
What's up guys? Sitting here, got my manifold all welded up, uh, intake manifold that is, short runner. Um, yeah, so just kind of walk you through it real quick and show you what I welded and yeah, so here it is man, I mean, it's pretty sweet. Um, took me probably two hours to weld it all up um, after everything was fitted and everything um, running my AHP Alpha TIG 201 maxed out um, 200 amps not a water cool machine torch was getting hot uh, running AC um, kind of had to let it cool down a little bit so yeah went fairly smooth um welding onto this cast is a little little tricky it's a little more uh porous and a little dirty and uh i didn't have to do much but some of the welds i would kind of had to go over some welds and it was pulling some of the contaminants back into my welds so yeah i'm gonna do some kind of close-ups and stuff and uh yeah all of I mean, it turned out pretty decent, so thanks. So that was a fun one. I've never made an intake manifold before. Um, helped out getting, you know, some of the good parts to do it with instead of just starting out completely from scratch like I'm doing with the uh, oil pan. I'll have a video on that here coming up shortly. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, motor's going to come back out. Uh, pull the motor trans apart. I got my Clutch Masters clutch, flywheel, pressure plate, all the the whole shebang uh, I'll go over that before I put it in and then put it in I got to seal up a couple things in the motor some plugs I popped out I got to put back in and oh and then once the oil pans I mean the oil pan doesn't even have to be done but then it'll go back into the car I got oh I got a final weld uh, motor mounts and transmission mounts but then the motor will be in for good I didn't need a drive shaft, work on the cooling system, um, charge piping, uh, fuel pump, some other things, but yeah. So that's going to wrap up this video. Um, once again, thanks for watching. Love your support. Um, yeah, I love your support. Uh, it's been awesome. Uh, I can't wait to get this car on the road. Still need to get the oil pump still, but it's coming along. I don't know when this car is going to get on the road. I'll try to keep on it as much as I can. But yeah, um, thanks once again. And uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment, anything you want to see, anything that you don't like seeing. Um, uh, I'm still really new at my channel and would love any input. Thanks, guys.